Hey guys, this is Bharat Baj with phoneareena.com and what we have here is a Xiaomi device. Considering the size of the box, you may have already guessed what it is and you're probably right anyway. This is the Mi Pad that we had taken a look at at the Indian launch event a while back. So we had a brief time with the device, so we posted a hands-on video, but obviously that's not enough. We need to have more time with the device and since it was announced as coming soon for India, we ordered it from China and we got it and uh, we can unbox it and show you a quick overview of the hardware and the software and see what the box contents are like in the unboxing of the Xiaomi Mi Pad. So let's go ahead. So let's straight away take a look at the box here. The box is obviously like other Mi boxes. It is very hard and it's custom built for e-commerce shipping which is very thoughtful. And of course, over at the back, you have the highlights, lots in Chinese, but we can make out some in English. You can see that it is a 64 gigabyte variant that we have got and is powered by the NVIDIA Tegra K1 chipset, which has a 2.2 gigahertz processor, which is a CPU. And the GPU is a 192 core Kepler GPU from NVIDIA, which is exactly the same as what NVIDIA uses in its desktop level GPUs. So it is supposedly one of the best in terms of gaming. We have seen that with the Tegra 3 and the Tegra 4. Tegras are very good at gaming and Kepler is going to take it to some other level apparently. But the jury is still out on that one. We'll see where it goes. But Mi Pad is definitely one of the very few devices in the world right now with the Tegra K1 chipset and that itself makes it very interesting. So the Mi Pad also has a 7.9 inch form factor which is pretty much the same as the iPad mini with the retina display and the resolution is also same. It's 2048 by 1536. There is a 6700 mAh battery inside. The device is 8.5 millimeters thick and uh, weighs around 400 grams. Uh, we'll see about that later in the review uh, when we take into account all the things. So anyway, these are the highlights. Uh, it has 2 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs eMMC and all that. It has a memory card slot. You may have, uh, you might have read about it already, but let's uh, just unbox it and show you the device because I'm sure you're waiting for it. It's pretty hard to take all the Mi boxes out because uh, the, the box is very, very hard to take out. I mean, it's, it's very tight. Since it doesn't have any seal or something, it is very tight. So that's the Mi Pad right on top of the box. Let's quickly zoom in a little and take it out. So I was just uh, tweeting that the Mi Pad actually looks a lot like the iPhone 5C. If the iPad mini with the retina display is uh, the iPhone 5S, then the Mi Pad would be the iPhone 5C because this is pretty much the plastic version of the iPad mini. You can see the similarities there, uh, the form factor itself, the display resolution and everything else. Uh, it looks pretty much similar to the iPad mini, which is actually a good thing if you ask us because uh, iPad mini form factor is very, very desirable for a lot of people, including me. I, I would love a small tablet with a 4 is to 3 form factor. It's brilliant for reading, not maybe for watching movies, but still really good for reading. Anyway, let's keep the tablet aside for a while. We'll, we'll quickly take a look at the box contents. We'll quickly get that out of the way. So the Mi Pad comes with uh, an ejector tool because it has the micro SD card slot. You have the bunch of booklets here. I'm not going to go into them. And then of course you have two other things inside the box. This is of course the USB cable, the USB cable in black. There is no USB OTG or anything. They are just given you the USB cable here. And then of course this is the travel charger that's going to be the chinese type because we did get it from china and uh, there's nothing else in the box by the way let's try to take that out it's pretty hard to take it and uh, yes that's the chinese type or the us type pretty similar both are and uh, that's the usb travel charger so anyway let's get back to the device here the device is uh, in white color but it has other color variants too we had taken a look at the same white variant at the hands-on in the indian uh, launch event but anyway that's the uh, 
uh, tablet here. Let's quickly go through the hardware again. 7.9 inch display on the front. There is a 5 megapixel camera over there at the top. That's a front facing camera. There are three capacitor buttons here which will light up when we power on the device. And the display looks pretty good but is of course very reflective in terms of screen. And over at the back you have an 8 megapixel camera over here which is in the same area as the iPad mini. And over at the right you have the volume rocker and the power lock switch. And over at the left, you have the slot for the micro SD card, which can take up to 128 gigabytes, but it does need a SIM ejector tool. And over at the bottom, you have the micro USB port. And over at the top, you have the 3.5 mm audio jack. So pretty uh, similar to the iPad mini, but also pretty significantly uh, different in terms of design. As I said, it's like the 5C. It's got really good plastic, really high quality plastic and the build quality is definitely really good. These are the speakers here that I forgot to mention over at the back below the Mi logo. Uh, they are supposedly uh, stereo but we'll test that out. So let's power on the device. That was the hardware overview for you. Now let's see what the software is like. It is powered by MIUI of course but the scaling is very different when, in, when compared to the phones. This is uh, Xiaomi's only tablet. So there are pretty much a lot of changes and you can see the Android logo here which is recently being mandated by Google to just let uh, everyone know that the devices are running Android. So that's something they have taken an effort to. So anyway, let's uh, go through the quick setup here. Like I said, the three capacitor buttons have lit up. These are the three capacitor buttons and uh, they're pretty cool, I guess. Uh, Let's see if uh, we have something else. I'm just going to skip everything. I'm just going to uh, go, go, go. As you can see, the UI itself is pretty similar to what we had seen on the iPad mini. So this is MIUI and MIUI has a lot of features, tons and tons of features. You have some uh, widgets here which you can use. So these are arranged as kind of tiles and you can access them straight away. So these are widgets and they are arranged very nicely. And of course, these are the app icons. You have a lot of things. You have the Mi Market. You have a lot of Chinese specific things. Uh, lots of services are dedicated to the Chinese market. So you don't get much in India or anywhere else in the world. But of course, a lot of core features like for example, the camera will, uh, you know, out of the box work just like that. So that's the camera UI. A lot of things have changed in MIUI. You can see that uh, it has the Gaussian blur effect. It has the uh, non-standard uh, notification toggles. I mean, it, it's small, uh, not the full uh, thing. And it, it looks like the notification shade from the iPad. Let's be honest with it. It, it is uh, pretty similar. And you can see that the Gaussian blur effect is also very similar. So Xiaomi is definitely going uh, for the iPad mini market and uh, with the same form factor and the UI, it's very obvious. There is uh, nothing to say here, but, but the price is the biggest factor that we have come to know about Xiaomi. Uh, they price it really aggressively. This will be available for around 13,000 to 14,000 rupees in the Indian market. So that's spectacular pricing if you ask us and if you can get an iPad mini with a retina display at that price, you would obviously get it. So that's the thing that Xiaomi is going for and uh, you can see that there is not much in terms of, uh, you know, UI interactions and everything, but still uh, this is something significant in terms of a change. So anyway, let's go to the settings here, the settings, 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 it, sh it is here. So that's the settings and again, you can see uh, or maybe you cannot because the display brightness is very high. All right, now you can. The UI again is pretty much like iOS 7. I'm going to just uh, keep saying this again and again because it is true. Uh, there is uh, a lot of inspiration, we would say, uh, to MIUI from iOS 7 and it looks pretty good. So that's not a constraint or a complaint. And uh, there you go, it runs on Android 4.4.2. The MIUI version is uh, 2.0 for the tablet, I guess. And the RAM is 2 gigabytes. 
the CPU is quad core 2.0 gigahertz and the internal memory is 60 gigabytes available almost 60 it's 59 gigabytes so that's the Xiaomi Mi Pad in terms of a quick overview in hardware and software it is a very nice tablet it is a very well designed tablet and is going straight at the iPad mini market so if you are looking for a cheaper alternative for the iPad mini which looks a lot like the iPad mini and of course runs Android and MIUI this is the only option you got and it's pretty good because of the price so we'll be waiting for it to launch in India uh, we hope it launches in India real soon because this is a really good device and we'll be telling you uh, all the other stuff in separate videos I've got more videos coming to the channel so stay tuned and subscribe do hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like these obviously more videos are coming so stay tuned for that and hit the like button if you like this video and let us know what you think in the comment section below too that's it for the unboxing and a quick overview of the xiaomi mi pad thanks for watching